What's happening, everybody? Trey here, joined by my dad, Sean. And today, a reaction to the classics. We have a song battle coming your way. Thanks to our longtime friend and patron of the channel, Seals, for requesting this one. Uh, we're going to be doing two of the mega songs from Heart, uh, Crazy on You versus Barracuda. Two awesome, awesome tracks. And uh, today, we're going to be listening to them back to back and then uh, going to make the tough decision which one's going to come out on top. And of course, we want to hear from you in the comments as well uh, once we get there. So first up, we got Crazy on You from the Dreamboat Annie album in 1975. Seals, the patron that brought this, said this is an awesome acoustic guitar intro called Silver Wheels by Nancy Wilson. It was inspired by the Moody Blues song, The Question. Also, Ann Wilson does her usual excellent mm -hmm. vocal performance, written by both Ann and Nancy, about Ann's lover at the time, Mike Fisher, who was also one of the founding members of the band, their other guitar player besides Nancy, and felt that though the world seemed crazy, and she often felt crazy, Mike kept her mm. sane. Yeah, this was the debut single for them in the States. Went to 35, but uh, now, of course, is one of their yeah. probably, it might be the most well-known song by them. Uh, if it's not, it's probably Barracuda, which uh, we'll be getting to in a little bit. Here. Yeah. Uh, it attracted attention both for the relatively unusual combination of an acoustic guitar yes. paired with electric guitars and the fact that the acoustic guitarist was a woman, of course, which was a rarity uh, in, in the 70s period. And now. There. Yeah. So. Um, during an interview on the TV series Private Sessions back in 07, and revealed the song was written in response to the stress caused by the Vietnam War and the social unrest in the States in the uh, early 70s. And I found it interesting. Anne is on the flute on this song, oh, okay. channeling her inner Peter Gabriel nice. and Ian Anderson. <laughs> so, all right, we're going to have the lyrics up as always. Thanks again. Seals. <laughs> This acoustic is just so good and yeah, uh, it is. building up to this drop that we're about to get. Love when that electric guitar comes in screeching yeah. in the chorus, man. What a song.
There you go. Crazy on you. You mentioned it during it during the uh, reaction tray. Just, I mean, the guitar work, right? The mm -hmm. intro is so intricate. The electric guitar when it comes in on on uh, on the chorus, like it's just, and then Anne's just power in those vocals is uh, is incredible. Oh, definitely, man. I, I'm trying to think. I think the first time I heard this song, actually, it might have been like on a Guitar Hero or a rock band back in the day. And uh, yeah, I just remember uh, that acoustic part. It's so awesome at yeah. the start, right? And then boom, it drops down. And the way the acoustic and the electric play together, you know, as we were mentioning in the intro, uh, just makes for a really pleasant sound. And then uh, the vocals here, um, are, are just uh, just incredible uh, and just so passionate uh, and um, you know the, the lyrics are uh, pretty um, descriptive as well you know kind of painting painting this uh, scene in your head right and, yeah and if it was for her lover that she's singing it with her own personal passion mm -hmm. although it would be crazy later on when he was no longer her lover yeah. <laughs> and uh, and you're and you're singing this song but uh, yeah no, I mean I never knew this song I've never, I haven't heard this song a ton of times I know mm -hmm. the 80s heart which is a much mm -hmm. different sound than this. I mean, I didn't hear this growing up or anything. It was a little bit before my time. It's going to be the same case, Trey, for our next offering. Yeah, going to Barracuda, which is, uh, you know, right up there with, I, I think, their most popular tracks, right? So um, on this one, Seals Notes, uh, the second song from their follow-up album, Little Queen, uh, it has a very interesting backstory about their original record label, Mushroom Records' attempt to market them as lesbian lovers. Hey, 70s, He's crazy time. Baby. Yeah. Uh, needless to say, Anne was rather upset and wrote this song. Um, there's also another awesome opening riff by Nancy on this track as well. Yeah, and this is the next album, as you said, in 1977. Weed single, uh, number 11 in the U.S. And that rage you talked about. Uh, it, the song particularly focused on Anne's rage towards a male radio promoter mm. who came up to her after a concert and asking her how her, quote, lover was. She initially thought she was talking about the boyfriend, Mike, after he revealed his son about her sister, Nancy, which is just insane that they even did. Uh, yeah. Anne became outraged, went back to her hotel room, and wrote the original lyrics of this song. Wow. And in uh, March 2019, Nancy revealed that the guitar riff for this was inspired by the riff from Nazareth's Nazareth's uh, cover of the Joni Mitchell track, This Flight Tonight. She said, quote, we've been opening for a band called Nazareth in Europe and also for Queen. Wow. And Nazareth had a hit with the Joni Mitchell song that they covered called This Flight Tonight that had that uh, kind of riff. So we borrowed that, we made it into Barracuda, and we saw the guys from Nazareth <laughs> later, and they were pissed. You took our riff. But that's kind of what everybody does. You borrow from what you love, you make it your own. It's one of those sounds, too. It's one of those guitar tones. I'm still trying to figure out what we did. It's hard to recreate. Wow. All right. Let's go. In that galloping type of rhythm, uh, yeah, that's always works working. well. Fun word to say. In yeah, I was gonna. The way she says it. Yeah.
have a barracuda tray. Not one, not two, but three instrumental runs in this first right. throughout this song, which is for me the highlight of it. Oh, definitely. And it's jam packed you know, from you know the start to the end. No fade outs here. No, man. nothing. Man. Uh, and again, I think uh, this showcase is again the highlight of both the both the Wilson uh, sister, but also Roger Fisher on uh, on some of these guitar solos. Yes, right? exactly. Just, Everyone uh, thinks it's Nancy on everything. It's not. It's just uh, absolutely you know, ripping to hear and um and, and, and again, uh, this one, Dad, obviously a little bit uh, more upbeat in mm -hmm. the sense um, that riff and that uh, rhythm section just, uh, you know, kind of galloping along, um, you know, just uh, makes you, makes you want to move along to the music. It right? does. Uh, definitely a bit more of a, uh, a rocker and uh, showcasing um, the, the, you know, hey, the Wilson, the Wilson uh, sisters could, uh, could rock with anybody. Right? Yeah. And, and uh, power in those vocals mm -hmm. a little more because it is a little more upbeat and and kind of the subject matter of the song. So yeah, I don't have a lot else to say about it, Trey. These are two stone cold classics. So now you've got the very difficult task and half of you watching this won't agree with whatever we choose, even if we choose <laughs> different things. Uh, crazy on you or Barracuda, Trey, I'll go first. For me, I mean, it's close, obviously, but I'm gonna go crazy on you. Mm, that's what I'm going with as okay. well. So it doesn't mean Barracuda is not a stone cold classic. It's just crazy on you is just, a little bit better. I, I think the uh, the acoustic uh, mm -hmm. intro on Crazy yeah. on You gives it just the uh, just and just just the the, the edge over it. But uh, hey, man, Barracuda really uh, really strong track as well. And this was a fun uh, was. fun battle uh, to do. You know, kind of two of the uh, most famous songs from uh, an artist. We don't do that a ton on these song battles. So thanks to Seals for uh, suggesting that. And uh, of course, let us know which of these you have coming out on top in the comment section below. Uh, leave a thumbs up and a subscribe as well if you haven't already. And uh, I guess that'll do it until next time. So thanks for watching, happy listening, and we will see you.